Hey guys, what's up? It's Kev Concepts here, and today I have another video for you guys, and this video is a tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this ribbon or banner thing that I have over my badge and in Photoshop. So, let's get started, and all you need right now is a... 1280 by 720 canvas or whatever size you guys want it's um, different for every screen computer that you have so yeah so first off I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two kinds of um, this ribbon banner effect and it's going to be a rectangle straight one and a curved one like the one I have over my badge right now so first you need a new layer um, a transparent one like this and um, then you need this rectangle tool it's on the sidebar it looks like a rectangle you might have it as a different shape uh, all you need to do is just hold it down and select rectangle tool and then um, you can pick any color that you want I'm pr maybe I'm just do a blue this this tutorial and all you need to do first is just make a rectangle any you can make it any size of your choice it doesn't really matter just make it sort of long so it's like that and then um, just make another rectangle on a different layer so you can work with it and make it actually so it's sort of even we're going to copy this one and then resize it resize it you don't need to do this but you know you so it looks better and it's resized and it's all um, like correctly sized up so then basically all you need to do is get sort of like a shape like this um, maybe a quarter of what you already made and um, just put it right on the corner right here so that will be the ribbon thing that sort of comes out at the at the side um, like that and then put that under the layer of the rectangle. So I'm just going to um, name this the main. I'm going to name that main. And I'm going to name this left. It's just so that I know which one's which. And then on this, we're going to add a stroke. And the stroke, we're going to put the size to 1. And the opacity to around maybe 50 or 25 you want to see it a little so then you can um, like so you can see the differentness in it and then we're going to add a stroke to the main one as well maybe put that at around uh, 50 or maybe 75 it doesn't really matter and we're just going to copy the left ribbon to the right side make sure everything's aligned and it should snap in place like that with Photoshop. And we're going to put name this as right. All right, so now we have this basic thing right here. Now we have to um, sort of make that little shape on the bottom. So then it shows that it's like a ribbon like thing. So what we're going to do is make a new layer. And let's just go down here a little. So we have some room to do this, move this up, and um, you can do this with anything. Um, I usually use Polygon Lasso Tool just to draw it in, and then uh, fill it in with the layer. So as you can see, I'm drawing it in like this right now, and then it makes a selection. You can move the selection, you can always resize it and cut it down and stuff. And now we're going to get this bucket tool. And then uh, I usually use sort of a light to dark gray. Um, and so we're just going to do that sort of color. And we have this. So then let's zoom in a little. So we can uh, get this equally equally filled out and stuff. Um, just so you can expand it. And then, like, crop it down with the select tool and get the edges straight. And that looks pretty good. And then we're just going to add a stroke to that as well. Size 1, opacity around 25-ish. 
and then now what we're gonna do is put this um just gonna na name this um triangle and then now we're going to put this under the main so then it goes like that and then you might want to move it up a little so it goes under and then just keep it over the right side so now it has that effect and we're just going to cop make a copy you can hold alt and then drag it over and it makes a copy on a new layer and we're going to go to f edit transform and flip horizontal make sure that layer is selected so the shape is um, transformed and we're just going to call this triangle right all right so now we have this basic ribbon right here and just select all this and move it over here and um, now we're going to add the triangle thing on the side so you can select any one which probably just do the left one first and then what you can do so that it's very um, so that it's equal is um, you can do this side first and then copy it over so what we're gonna do is get the polygon lasso tool again and just basically make like an indent shape over here and then um, delete make sure that that triangle that um, the layer is selected or else it won't work and it won't delete the right thing so we have that right there and then now we're just going to delete the right side and then make a copy of this one and we're going, you can rotate or flip I'm probably going to flip so it's equal and then we're just going to put that in right there alright so now you have that basic ribbon thing and that it's, it's a rectangle version um, you have all these um, if you merge it I think it does uh, change it a little the look of it a little so I'm just going to put that in a group and then call that banner one alright now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it into sort of a round one all right this round effect like the one I have right now so let me just um, make a new one right here we're going to hide the first one so we can work with it with more room and we're just going to keep this one right here and see we can merge the layers if we merge the layers it doesn't actually change anything so that's good it looks exactly the same and so we can just do that call this banner 2 banner 2 alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to control T and then get this basically selected and then we're going to get a guide and then move the guide so it's centered and then basically the transform thing shows these little points it shows that anchor midpoint and then we're going to snap the guide in the center and then now once you have that you can just unselect that by entering and we're going to get this select rectangular marquee tool select the banner tool too I mean <laughs> and then we're just going to make a selection around this half and delete that half so basically what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this side and then copy it over to that side so have the banner two selected and then we're going to go to edit dr go down to transform go to the arrow side and then click warp so now what warping does it has all these areas where you can warp the shape and then um, just have it however you want to look um, have it whatever you want it to look you can select these um, points on the outside by changing it or you can also select the inside like this and drag it around so it actually adds really nice effects so what we're going to do is I'm just going to change this around a little sort of make it rounded looking you don't want to um, exaggerate it too much and let's see just edit this around a little and it 
it's looking pretty good you don't want to mess with this part right here or else um it's it's not going to look straight when you combine the two sides um i'm just trying to make it straight what right now you can you can always um overlay it and then um like deselect it or no, i mean not deselect like you, you can always crop parts out so just for the sake of this tutorial i'm probably just going to stop there and then copy it over flip it and then drag it in like this so like this and then we're just going to merge these two layers together and yeah so we have these two banners guys and um if you have any questions or something just leave it in the con um comments below or you can message me um if you have my skype you can message me there of course and so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope it helped you guys a lot and oh yeah and you can also add uh shadows under here if you guys want as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you guys want more tutorials, just leave it in the comments below on what you guys want next. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Peace.